welcome back to Bianca's Tarot. Um, today we are going to get into some predictions for June 2023. Um, I hope everyone had a good May. Um, my The month of May for me was um, a lot of learning for me in, in the most positive way possible. So I'm excited to do the June ones. I actually watch these back um, and pick which pile resonates for me and I usually um not resonates but what my intuition feels and it's usually always accurate so I'm kind of low-key doing this for myself <laughs> as well but of course for you guys so um yeah pick which pile you feel drawn to we have pile one pile two pile three and then we will start the reading all right pile one let's get into what's going to be happening in the month of June for you um June 2023 okay Ace of Coins. It's the beginning, middle, and end of June. A lot of financial focus. Um, so a lot of focus on money, career, finances, your practical day to day. Yeah, it's all money. It's all about money. Some of you could be um, dealing with an earth sign that makes an impact on your life somehow in the month of June, too. So, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay. I definitely feel there is an opportunity or a chance for an increase in money, especially in the beginning of the month for you. I do feel um, there could be someone new you meet at work or a new um, co-worker that i don't know it feels like you could meet a new person i'm feeling for some of you um in your workspace someone new is being added um i just get that i i don't know i feel that a lot of new um changes like a lot of new changes happening in the beginning of june for you related to your work place and your financial uh, and financial opportunities um, this is interesting. I feel like, let me see why the five of pentacles is here. There's this huge decision you have to make about career in, in, um, June, like financial stuff. Um, I feel that spirit is working with you to push you into better opportunities um, for work. I feel like this pile has a lot of potential to go far in their career. And there's a lot of push, I feel, from spirit with you guys this month into that. Um, and I do get this warning about um, not romanticizing, like like not romanticizing what feels familiar, you know, like it could be as simple as like, for example, like staying at a company you really love, like in terms of like the people, but maybe they're not giving you the pay. Um, I've worked at places um, where like the community was great, like the people were great, but they weren't making any money. I wasn't making any money. Um, there was no raise. They'd always give us the runaround when they talk about giving us a raise. It wasn't livable income, you know? And I, I, I get this message to tell somebody in pile one that um to not romanticize. Like you can have, you can work with great people. You could have something that, um you know, may feel good, but maybe you're, you're worth more. I also feel like for entrepreneurs, there's a message to um, not sell yourself short, to believe that you are worth your prices and things like that. And I feel like there's just like with justice and the two of pentacles, there's just this weighing decision about what you have to do um financially that would be of your highest good so i do feel like that's gonna kind of take up a lot of the middle of the month for you um i also feel with the star and the page of pentacles you guys are going to um encounter someone new through the workplace um that's going to be a positive friend for you um i don't know if it's romantic i i don't know it doesn't really feel romantic it feels more like a friend like someone 
who's going to really help guide you in the workplace, someone who's going to really, um, like maybe you guys meet through work and it becomes like a good friendship afterwards. I get this energy of um, your, your career and um, connecting you to really good people. This is also a great month of networking in your career field, okay? Um, there's a huge, like, in, there's a huge highlight about meeting an earth sign this year for, not this year, maybe this year, since I accidentally said that, but meeting an earth sign in the month of June. Um, so I would, um, definitely look out for that. I also feel, um, good news coming to you with a work opportunity. Um, I would, uh, especially with the star here, I feel like there's a, a perfect job, um, opportunity coming to you. For a lot of you, it feels new. It doesn't feel like where you're at, okay? At the base, I have the Ace of Wands. This is like, this is definitely a month of stepping into the new, but it's 100% related to career and financial stuff. Like, that's the going to be the main focus of the whole month. Um, I want to ask Spirit, what is the challenge this month possibly for you guys? So what might be the potential challenge? I'm going to use a different deck, actually, since I've already pulled cards. So I'll use this deck and show you guys a card. What is the potential challenge for Pile 1 in the month of June? What is the potential challenge for Pile 1 in the month of June? So we have Ace of Wands, which is funny because I just had that at the base. So Ace of Wands Reverse. Um... Ace of Wands Reverse talks about many things. I'm just going to clarify why it's reverse. Ace of Cups Reverse. So I feel like um, a challenge could be turning down something new or not embracing the new. So some of you might have an opportunity to do something really good for you that's maybe brand new to you, but you'll turn it down. Um, and it'll be kind of be like a wasted opportunity. So watch out for not having wasted opportunities. I also feel like there could be a challenge with um, traveling delays or a delay with like commuting. There could be um, car issues for some of you or a delay in like um, a meetup or something. Um, yeah, Page of Pentacles reverse. It, it's talking, it keeps, and I'm using a different deck. It keeps talking. There's going to be a huge thing with finances for Pile 1 this month. Like, that's the whole thing. There could also be um, a challenge with an Earth sign person. So, the challenge is really the Ace of Wands Reverse, which to me, um, my intuition is telling me, like, um, like pushing away an uh, opportunity that would be good for you. That's kind of going to be the challenge. Or um, doing something new for yourself. Um, let me see, what's going to be the best thing about June for Pile 1? Like, the best blessing. Ten of Wands. I feel you guys are going to be super busy in the month of June, and it's going to be, like, a productive month. Like, I feel like a lot of things are going to get handled in the month of June, um, and you, it won't be, like, a boring month. <laughs> I'll tell you that. It's not going to be a boring month. I see a lot of productivity, and you guys staying busy and focused, Okay. Um, when I look at the Oracle messages for the month of June for pile one, so we have stubbornness, self, selfness, mullish attitude, arrogance. Some of you could be acting stubborn this month or dealing with a stubborn, um, person, Um, awkward, unknown vision problems. Some of you might have actual vision problems, hopefully not this month, or you could just um, need to change your perspective. Sometimes these cards aren't too literal. Maybe like um, having a better perspective, you know, um, it's reminded, reminded me of that quote, like rose colored glasses, like looking at things from a, a better perspective. Okay. I also have mass deception, pretending, 
inconstancy. Some of you might also feel this month that you're putting a mask in, putting up a, a mask for people or putting up a front for people. Um, not that you're fake or anything, but maybe like not wanting to um, talk about how you're feeling with people. Um, I feel a lot of you are doing this at work too. Like you kind of feel like you have to kind of put up a mask or put up a pretend thing. I'll get two more cards. Month of June. So I have marriage, sweet love, couple, dependency. There could be um, some of you that are in a relationship. You could get in, uh, proposed to this month. Withdrawal, quit, awakening, rejection. I do feel like there's going to be certain triggers in the month of June for pile one that will be uncomfortable. Um, I do feel, again, spirit is pushing you out of something, um, pushing you on to bigger and better things and that might be uncomfortable a little bit i don't think it will be the end of the world though because i don't have like the tower or anything okay let's get some final spirit guide messages for the month of june for pile one all right so pile what does pile one need to hear All right, don't stop. So spirit wants you to keep continue on, to keep going, um, to keep the momentum. I do feel like this is a month where you can ask for help from others. I do feel a very helpful earth sign type of person is coming in. Um, it feels more like a masculine energy. It doesn't have to be, but I have a fire energy and a very prominent earth energy. Um, I also have a no. Let me see what the no is about success um some of you i just don't want you guys to doubt yourself this month um because i feel that you guys are meant to be really successful in your um career beyond june you know just in general and i just feel like this this month is going to be like um putting a spotlight on that you know and you're going to start asking yourself questions main mainly about your career and your life purpose and what you're meant for what you're not meant for and things of that nature so um nonetheless though june looks amazing for you guys um thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye all right hello pile two let's get into the energy of your reading so pile two um what's coming up for you guys in june in june 2023 so i have king of pentacles all right so beginning, middle, and end energy for the middle. I don't, everybody keeps getting a lot of money cards. I do have a person popping out here, though. End of June. Six of Wands. Okay. Who is this guy? Three of Swords. Okay. Um, there is definitely a talk about financial stuff. I do feel um, a lot of you are in going into, some of you could get a promotion this month for sure. I get higher pay, like a, a, a raise for a lot of you. If you own your own business, I see um, more customers. Um... There's a lot of things happening going on in this reading. I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to start. So right off the bat, um, as soon as I pulled the Three of Swords, I heard in my head, Father. Some of you are, in the, at least in the beginning of June, I'm feeling there's a father figure-like person in your life that is sad, feels sad towards you, um, will express some sorrow to you. I feel that this person... Um, is sad over something that's happened between you and them um and it feels like a father figure heavily or a grandfather it it, it just i get this father like energy um i also have the empress here there could be um something going on with your parents in the beginning of 
um, June. I, I'm getting this energy of addressing parental issues, uh, especially with the father. So I feel like um, in the beginning of June, there's going to be something happening with a father-like person. Um, I'm, I'm getting an addressing of some family issues. Um, so it could be literally your father and mother or maybe... For those who have children, the father of your child, I get a, a feeling of someone that feels saddened toward you and they are a parent. Um, they're literally a parent. They have children. I, and I feel that there's going to be... Um, let me see. So I have a lot of people here and I have a lot of sorrow. I don't know if it's an uncomfortable conversation... Wow, Eight of Swords. I, I feel that there might be tension with you and um, maybe a, a, a mother or a father or both. Like, I, I just get this energy of feeling, um, like, I have tightness in my chest. I feel a little bit sad. And I feel this person is really, there's a person that feels really sad towards you that might express that with you in the beginning of June. And I feel like it'll be a little bit of an uncomfortable conversation. Um, I want to see what the advice from spirit is about with this energy. Wow, we have strength. So strength is all about like putting our ego to the side and, and, and having courage. So I feel that there's a message to have the courage to hear somebody out, to have the courage to control your emotions in the beginning of June. Because I do feel that there's going to be something a little bit uncomfortable coming up at least in the beginning of it, um, if I'm going specific with dates, where it's going to require you to kind of, um, I don't know, like have um, some emotional strength. Um, and I do feel there's a message to say that so someone's father is feeling really, really sad. Like, I don't know if it's a stepfather or a father, like it's some sort of father figure towards pile two that feels really saddened by stuff with you guys. I don't know. They feel kind of heartbroken. And I think that there's going to be the energy of that lingering around or that person will literally tell you how they've been feeling and they will want to express how they've been feeling. And it might be emotional, you know, it might be kind of an emotional beginning to start off in June. And the strength card is all about having courage and putting ego to the side and just really listening and hearing that person out it's not about who's right or wrong. It's just about, you know, hearing how people genuinely feel. And maybe that, that it'll be a chance for you to genuinely express how you feel towards that person. Um, and that's all I'm going to say for that. Might not resonate with everybody, but that's definitely what I'm picking up. There's an energy of heartbreak and sorrow connected to some people in your life, specifically a older man, a father, but like figure. Okay, so as we move into the middle of June, we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. Um, yeah, so I have the Nine of Pentacles reverse full out. I do feel like this month is going to be really complicated for Pile 2 in terms of you connecting or trying to connect with a specific individual. Um... I feel that some of your personal problems in life will affect your work performance or will affect like stuff with work. Um, I'll, and I'll explain. So I have the Knight of Pentacles and I have the Five of Swords. I feel that there's this energy of um, a disagreement happening it could be in the workplace it really could be but i feel like it's 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 a specific it's highlighting a, a young man now could be in his t late 20s um it doesn't have to be a man it could be a air a air sign or earth sign i feel you going kind of back and forth with someone or feeling like this person doesn't get you i'm, I'm feeling um and it might be different than the father figure I'm, i have a different person here now um, the Five of Swords is kind of where ego is inflated and it's kind of what happens when we are trying to get a person to see our point and they're just, they're, they're, their perspective is completely different. 
And then under that, I have the Ten of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. I, I feel some stress in the middle of June related to a disconnect with a person. Um, and I also feel stress relating to feeling like you're putting a lot of energy into work. Um, but you're, I don't know if it's the pay isn't that great or you're just feeling disconnected. There's a huge feeling of like, I'm feeling disconnected. Like, um, this person feels this way towards me, but then I try to get them to see my point, but they don't see my point. And I'm doing all this, all this, I'm putting all my energy into work, but I don't feel like they're paying me. So the first, the beginning and the middle of June feel, I feel a huge, I feel frustrated and I feel disconnected. Like that's what I'm picking up in terms of emotionally for you. I will get the advice from spirit on how to deal with this energy. Oh, wow. I shuffled too, guys. I shuffled. So it feels like this month you're going to have to go in the strength card and really like tap into that energy. This 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 is all the, the lion here represents taming the ego, the animal. Everybody has a beast inside of us. Like we all have a we all have a like if somebody pokes us too much, we're going to explode. Everybody has that limit. Some people, it's a little bit quicker. Some people's a little bit slower. But I feel like there's a warning this month because I feel that you're going to... I feel like there's a message from Spirit saying for Pile 2, you guys are going to feel like you're getting poked and poked and poked and poked. And before you explode, Spirit wants you to take into account that, you know, not everybody that you want to feel connected to is going to um connect with you and that sometimes is a hard reality to, reality to accept nobody uh, nobody wants to feel unloved or misunderstood and stuff like that and i will be real with you guys there are some un misunderstandings coming up there is some triggers coming up emotionally with the people that in your life in in june but with the strength card i feel like just to keep in mind we can't control other people. We can't control how they are. And sometimes when conflict is happening, it's just because we're outgrowing people or we're um, outgrowing work, a work situation. You know, I feel I feel there's a lot of growth happening with Pile 2. And with because of that, you guys are heading into different directions in life. And that might be growing distant from family members, growing distant from friends, growing distance um, from a love interest, you know, it, it, this is um, things that you might be realizing in the month of June. But strength keeps coming out. I'm actually going to leave this card because <laughs> it came out twice and I shuffled. And this is what you have to keep in mind that you are strong. You can, you know, persevere. You don't have to. This person is literally calming the lion down. And not many people can do that. You know, a lot of people look at lions like it's, um, they're dangerous animals. And they are, in a sense, but they're kind of dangerous in their, if you poke them a lot. Like, if you, they're dangerous if you give them a reason to be dangerous. From Like, you know, people who really study animals will know that. So I do feel like this is a, um, this is a, this is, this month is calling you to, recognize your strength but also call you to recognize what's what's maybe not working in your environment and who you have to step back from who you have to kind of okay you know what although I want to be right here I I don't think it even matters anymore that's what I'm getting so as we move into the end of June we have the six of wands and we have the five of wands um let me see what this is about so i have the page of pentacles i do feel a lot of you will get um noticed or recognized um through social media or you'll you'll gain a, a following somehow um towards the end i don't know it seems like you'll get more followers or um, more attention or more respect or you know more people will know about you somehow it could be for 
something you do for work or something you're really talented in. I also have the tower. Yeah, this month is a month of breaking down and rebuilding. And certain relationships will be tested, certain conversations, there will be the truth revealed. And it's only broken down because it wasn't that strong in the first place. And you guys just need to keep in mind that you don't have to um, let your emotions get the best of you this month. And I think this is a month about succeeding on, like, what does success feel like to you, you know? And sometimes success has nothing to do with other people's validation. And I think that's just something Pile 2 needs to hear for this month. So this is a very important month. At the base, we have the star, which is right after the tower, funny enough. Um, you guys are headed into um, a lot of healing and, and, um, posit and like a positive... I don't know, it feels like a wish coming true, but I do feel like June will be a little bit trying um, because it's um, because you guys are outgrowing a lot of uh, a lot of people. OK, so let's get some Oracle messages for pile two. So we have disturbance, uh, irritation, supernatural, obscure. Um. I want to see what that's about. Wow, curse, hate, cast, misfortune. That's really weird. Um, some of you might have, um, unfortunately, some sort of spiritual tie to someone that doesn't have the best energy. So I would really protect my your. I would protect energy this month. Um, I would definitely get more sage than usual, uh, more crystals than usual. I do feel that some people in your life that you're going back and forth with are unfortunately might have some supernatural, I don't want to say curses, but some supernatural dark, like a dark um, energy on them. So I would watch out. Um, let me try to get one more card about this. Origin creativity vitality yeah it, i feel that um spirit really wants you to protect your energy this month and some people you're going back and forth with actually might be having like um a spiritual battle going on i hate to say that but these two cards together i don't really like that um readiness preparation prompt arrangement so a lot of you guys are preparing and getting ready um, for a lot of things this month. Yeah, it says goal. I see you guys kind of trying to focus on your goals. Um, will there be some distractions? Probably, but I don't think you're going to let it get the best of you. And we have apology. That's what I literally said before. Guilt, confession. I feel that there's going to be some tears shed this month for you guys. But I don't think it's going to be... It feels like, I don't know if it's like a family intervention or friends wanting to vent. I, I don't know. I do get it's going to be an emotional month for some of you. And um, Spirit just is saying, don't let that distract you from your own things. I do feel like Pile 2 might be empaths. Um, so you guys probably carry a lot of other people's emotions on you. And I think Spirit just wants you to know that you don't have to do that, especially this month. You can be compassionate and not... And still balance out not like carrying other people's you know shit basically so let's get um i want to see what are going to be the i kind of already have an idea of the challenge this month so let's do what are the good things coming to pile two and i'll do two cards since you know i know this reading might be difficult to hear for some of you but i do i am you know an honest reader what are the good things coming to pile two in june so we have the Queen of Wands. A lot of you are going to um, up your style or your beauty or something about taking care of you this month. I do feel there could also be a, um, a woman in your life this month that's really encouraging and supportive. It could be a supportive mother or female friend. However, um, it might resonate. 
I also feel like this could be about you like upping your game, upping your style, being more honest with others. But I also get it, this could be in the form of, of another person. Some of you could get a pet this month too, or something good. Good news about a pet. Pile two. Ooh, page of pentacles. Right. Um. I feel that um the good thing this month is you'll you'll see who are the real i heard i just heard in my head you'll see who are the real friends and who are the fake friends so um that is um that is just something i channeled okay so for this reading was a lot longer than i thought i would than i thought it would be but it's fine what is some spirit guide messages for pile two reconsider so this month you will be reconsidering recovery some of you could be recovering physically or emotionally for some from something this month within the next few weeks no need to worry so i do feel like spirit is giving you a message of not needing to worry there will be a lot of changes um coming up um it's definitely it could it definitely feels um like an important month um an important month um it's not a month i think you guys are gonna forget um but yeah it's a very necessary month so thank you guys for watching this reading um if you would like to book a personal reading with me you can my website is in the description below and i will see you guys bye okay so pile three let's get some june predictions for you guys <clears throat> um, okay, so June predictions, beginning, middle, and end of the month. Beginning for June for you guys. So we have the Page of Wands. There could be good news coming to you. Um, you guys might feel really lucky in the beginning of the month. I'm getting like a positive message being sent to you. Yeah, I have the star. I feel like something goes really, really well for you in the beginning of June. If you guys have been waiting on something or waiting to hear back from a person or from just something you want in your life, I do feel like there's really good news coming in. Um, yeah, I have judgment. And I feel like this good news is going to make you feel excited or like ready to move on to the next phase move on to the next chapter um i do feel a lot of healing in the beginning of june for you middle wow we have the nine of cups um we have the eight of wands i get good news about travel or anything related to commuting somehow so some of you will um have a successful trip um, a successful maybe something that gives you the ability to travel um, I don't know something with a lot of things you want this month is related to distance okay um, let me see I'm not connected to that the end of June for pile three wow we have the king of wands I really love this ten of wands why is this guy here? Ooh, okay. So let me break it down. Fantastic month. Um, I think that in the beginning, again, like I said, there's good news coming towards you. Um, it's coming from a person or somebody willing to help you out in some way. But I just feel you guys opening up your email or getting a text message saying oh you got the thing or this worked out or congratulations blah 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 so um there's uh, really that's really really great for the beginning of june with the nine of cups and the, and the nine of cups and eight of wands it keeps talking about a lot of dreams being manifested in this month for you so a lot of things that you've been wishing and hoping for and praying for are going to manifest in the month of june um it's going to happen very quickly 
The eight of wands signals to me, again, things through text messages or mail or so make sure you're checking your mail this month, um, your phone and things like that. I also get an energy of a older man fighting for your attention. Um, this could be two ways. I feel that this is a month where you guys are definitely going to be healing. Maybe you guys are in the King of Wands energy. But I have too many um guys here. So I, I'm, my intuition is saying it's, it's kind of talking about somebody else. But um, you guys will be in tune with your emotions this month. I feel like you guys are going to feel like really balanced out this month and focused on what you need to do. Um, I do feel like somebody could give you a special gift this month. I don't know why. Something that you'll want to keep forever. And I do feel that there is a guy fighting for your... That, a guy that wants your attention this month. Um, he could be any sign, really. I have all the signs here except for Earth. Um, I feel... Let me just see what else I could get about him. Who is this guy? Why is he here? So I have the moon. Um, ten of... I feel like there's someone who is... This is someone who secretly wants to be with you, like secretly wants a relationship. But I don't feel like they want to be too obvious about it. So there's someone towards the end of the month that's going to kind of, not sneakily, but like trying to be subtle about wanting to be with you. It feels more romantic. It doesn't have to be a guy. It could be whatever your preference is. But it feels like there's someone who's trying to ask you out on a date or trying to get to know you better but they're trying not to like come off too obvious but secretly they really want like this like dream like relationship with you um i'm gonna try to get one more hint about this person wow i have the sun they could have a leo placement in their chart and i feel like this person will be someone you spend a lot of time with in the summer um is it new or old or is this person the emperor he's really responsible he could live at a distance from you or he doesn't live super close to you i feel he comes from a big family um he comes from a good group of he he does have siblings i don't feel like he's an only child um and i do feel like there's some distance with you and him um so those are some hints i'm picking up but it feels like this person wants like a lot with you like this person will want to um commit to you but they're just they don't want to come off like a creep or anything like that they're going to try to be subtle about it but i see somebody asking you out um so for my singles um i definitely get like a love interest for you if you're already in a connection um that person's gonna want to like do something really sweet and special but they're gonna plan it behind your back or something um it could be like a secret proposal a secret trip they're planning so um i good good news for love in general for those who are single and for those who are in a relationship already so i'm gonna get some oracle cards for Pile three for June. So we have profession, expertise. A lot of you will get good news related to your talents and your gifts. Uh, some of your talents and your gifts will be growing in the month of June, especially if you want to take it on a high professional level. Um, introvert, privacy, separate online community. I feel that you guys will feel introverted this month, but I don't feel loneliness. I don't feel like it's a sad thing. I just see you guys wanting to um, be to yourself possibly as well. Wow, parenthood, Patreon support. I see someone like there's going to be someone that like daydreams about having a family with you or like this happily ever after with you. It feels really like in the love thing so again if you're with someone they're gonna want to take things on a higher level with you if you're single i i get someone wanting like the you know 
a happy ending with you. Okay. So let's see. Um, what are let me see what is might be the challenge for pile three in the month of June. So nine of swords. Some of you might overthink and realize you have more irrational fears than rational fears. So there could be an issue with um, sleeping, a sleeping schedule, or overthinking things that won't even really happen. Just like it's like kind of due to past traumas or just natural anxiety some of you guys might have. So some anxiety issues possibly this month. Um... I feel like there could also be a challenge with you guys um, going outdoors more or, or stepping out your comfort zone. There could also be a challenge to um, not take a risk that's needed for you, okay? Um, let's see, what are the good things though? Even though I already feel like a lot of the whole month is really going to be good for you guys. What is going to be the biggest blessing for them in June? king of swords i'm telling you it's like some for some of you it's just like your intelligence is growing i see that um a lot of you are going to have like a great resume for yourself or i don't know i i see like a lot of prestige kind of like you guys have a lot to be proud about of yourself in the month of june i also get a feeling that there is um a man coming in um Yeah, he wants to, I keep getting Six of Pentacles energy. Like, there's going to be a guy that wants to, like, gift you something or give you a lot of, but it's, it's really positive, obviously. Like, I don't think, this person's a really great person. I think they're really intelligent, well-educated. They could be well-traveled. And I think they're going to want to offer, like, um, something really good with you. I have the son. This person will also want children with you. <laughs> I don't know, hopefully that's something you guys are prepared for, but I get this positive older man that wants something serious with you. If it's not romantic, it, it could be a friendship, but nonetheless, they want to be a part of your life in a, you know, peaceful, positive way. Um, let's get the final messages for Pile 3. So we have, if you believe... Some of your positive affirmations or something with your mindset in the month of June has is helping you attract better for yourself. Um, wow, I just said that there's something better. I feel like pile three in June, you guys are going to realize that there's a lot that there's better coming to you and it's going to actually be happening, you know. Um, I have a no. Let's see what the no is about. not the right time here's the thing i feel like there could be someone who is like if i have to if my intuition is telling me there's going to be something that doesn't feel like the right time for you and i feel like that could be connected to something going on in a relationship so maybe it could be taking something to a bigger step that you're not ready for or the other person's not ready for um that's something i'm picking up intuitively but nonetheless, you guys have a great month coming up. I really like the energy. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can through my website. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. I feel like there's something I forgot to say. Actually, you know what? I think I'm good. I think I said everything. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye.